What's going on guys? <clears throat> so today we're gonna be working with uh, my emblems on my truck. I've been wanting to wrap them for a while. They're the same stock color. It's like a burgundy for the GMC. So I finally went and bought some wrap and we're gonna wrap them today. So I'm gonna show you the equipment here. So we got the wrap itself. Don't know if you can really see it that well, but see, it kind of has like a little bit of a pearlescent color. It has like a little bit of sparkle to it. So it kind of matches the truck um, paint. It's not exactly to spec, but it's, it's pretty close. I mean, I would say that's pretty close. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. So yeah, you're gonna need some wrap, just a heat gun to, so we can make sure that this really um, shrinks down into the emblem and all the crevices. You can use your X-Acto knife, whatever you wanna use. People can use like the little blades as well, like a, like a little razor blade or whatever. Uh, a squeegee, and then I have this right here. I'm only really gonna be using this tool, I think just so I can use that point to really push the wrap into all the crevices. And stuff. I also wanted to show you guys. Uh, so basically, here's what the emblem looks like beforehand. We're gonna go ahead and prep this thing up. So in preparation, you wanna clean it very well. Uh, as you can tell, it's been kind of wet around here, so I'm gonna dry it off. I'm gonna clean it first, then we'll dry it off and uh, make sure that we get all these little crevices here because that's mainly where the wrap's gonna sit so it's not peeling up later on down the road. So yeah, so make sure whenever you wrap, you I'm, I'm, you can get like a quick detailer. I'm gonna get some of that, get like a rag and get up in there. So I'll go ahead and show you that process now. Gonna go ahead and take some measurements here and see how much we need to cut out because I want to cut like one big chunk so I can kind of lay it and then start pressing everything and then cut all the excess off later. Okay, so it came out to be 17 inches wide and just about four and a quarter long. So we're gonna go ahead and roll this out, get our nice piece measured out, and then we're gonna cut it and start wrapping. But now that we got our piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this back sticker part and then we're gonna go ahead and place it on there. And then I'll grab the heat gun and we'll start to, start to apply it. I also just want to take into account that I've never wrapped anything before. This is all new to me, new experiences. Um, but I do have a little bit of good common sense that tells me uh, when I cut this out as well, I did give myself just about an inch each way um, of just some space, like air space, if I need to position this better, you know, when I cut, just stuff like that. So I'm not an expert on this, but I'm just trying it out. So uh, let's get back into doing this. All right, when cutting, uh, I, was always, I was always told to cut around the outside edge so this way you can tuck it. So I go ahead and try this out. Hopefully I don't mess up. I've also discovered that it's really hard to, I guess, I guess just cut out around like curves. Um, Cause if we look at this one right here, as you can see, no pun intended, uh, 
I really, I did a bad job. I like right here, I like cut a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I cut a little bit, you know, not, I didn't cut enough here. I think here I wrinkled it around these edges, you know, so it kind of really messed up the whole thing. So I'll redo this one. But if you look at the end here, they look really nice. There's a couple places like right here, but I mean, that's not too bad. I, I'm not too worried about that, honestly. Um, I think it looks great if we back it up a little bit. So it's coming together, but I just want to give you a little bit of like insight while I'm doing it. We just finished it here. It's not too bad. It's a little, it's a little more on the white side than kind of like this color right here see here it doesn't exactly match but it has a little bit of the pearlescent to it you can see just a tad bit of the pearlescent color right in there just a little bit just where it's kind of like this but yeah it's not really exactly like it but it's pretty daggum close but yeah so it's not that bad it's really not that bad i like it so far but yeah we're gonna go ahead and redo this c right here uh, I don't like the way this came out. Just gonna cut another piece off and uh, put a slap it on there and fix that one up. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just skip to the back. I also wanna point out uh, the back emblem is actually a little bit smaller than the front emblem. So this one is actually, I think thir it's 13 and a half for, um, for the length here and it's all it's like three i think it's exactly three inches um three inches tall all right so officially on there it's not perfect I'm not gonna lie, like I said, this is my first time wrapping anything. It is not perfect whatsoever. Cause like there's a little bit of a piece I missed there. Maybe like these pieces right here. I don't know why, like even on the C, it just doesn't want to sit down. I don't know if it's cause of the wrap or I didn't cut enough to fit in there. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get it to sit in there as best I can, but you know, it, it's not life or death. I don't really care that much. Um, I still think it looks pretty great. Honestly, I love how it gets rid of that red, brings all the color match together, just ties everything in. I love that. So yeah, not that bad at all. Looks pretty sick. Look at that from back here. That looks nice. Oh yeah. Check it out. And see, it's not really like just white either. I tried to find something that would match and I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon where I bought this from and people who had this white diamond coat, like Ford has a color really close to this too. And they said it matched that. So the only reason it looks off here in this instance is because these two are just off. But if these were the same color, I think it would tie right in. So I like that a lot. All right, guys, it's starting to rain a little bit. It's a little misty out here. It, this is just awful weather. Just look at this. Like today, today is just just terrible. It's like 40 degrees out here. It's misty. It's cold, wet, rainy, all this stuff. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this right here. I think it looks fantastic. And this is like the middle ground for like where this truck is at for like my project for it and where I want it to be. So. Don't worry, I'm gonna tie a lot of things in. This is just another piece. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this. 
yeah so thank you for watching like subscribe do whatever you want to do but i'll talk to you guys later see ya